I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber who wants to understand difference between derivatives of sine x square and sine square x. That's a very important question and I found many students getting confused about it. So we'll discuss this in this particular video. So we have we have to find derivative of fx f of x equals to sine x squared and g of x equals to sine square x. So let's do them one by one. Let me begin by writing this in a different way that is y equals to sine x squared. Now to understand it better let's ap apply the method of substitution. So we'll say let u equals to x squared. In that case, what is du dx equals to? du dx will be equals to, we are differentiating with respect to x, we get 2x. Perfect. Now, if I substitute u as x squared, I could rewrite this equation in terms of u, right? So, let me rewrite this as, as y equals to sine u, okay? So, let me rewrite this as y equals to sine x squared is u sine u okay sine u so what is dy du equals to dy du equals to cos u now we need to find when we say derivative we need to find dy dx we can apply the chain rule which is dy du times du dx now dy du is cos u. Since we know u is x squared, we could have written this as cos x squared. Perfect. So let me replace dy du by cos x squared and du dx by 2x. Perfect. That gives us the answer which is 2x cos x squared. Is it clear? So that is the derivative of sine x squared. Now let's get into the second question here, which is g of x equals to sine square x. You could apply the power rule straight away here, right? So when you apply the power rule, then we have the derivative of g of x as 2 times sine x times derivative of inside function which is sin x right times let me write here as d dx of sin x I'm just mix up the two now so that is 2 sin x and derivative of sin x is cos x correct so we get 2 sin x cos x some of you could also write this as sin 2x using compound angle formula for double but uh, even this is this is okay. This is both are correct. Correct. The only thing is multiple choice questions. Sometimes you may be given sine 2x as an option. So what we understand here is that the power rule could be applied here, correct? But not for sine x square. Perfect. So that's the whole idea. So these are two very different functions. In one, the angle is squared. The other one. The ratio is squared, right? I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. So if you like, you can put likes. Feel free to subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.